Let's take a look at these depth and complexity digital frames that I've made for you um, in Google Slides. So this is how it works and what you get. First, there's instructions step-by-step step of how you set up a frame, and there are links to the slides that are mentioned. So these are hyperlinked right to that slide, so you can click there and it'll take you there if you like. Next, you get a, sh a slide that lists a bunch of different tips on creating frames, including a list of possible things to put in the center. Next, I list the emoji. Now, if you've worked with me with depth and complexity or you've read the book, then you know that I use emoji instead of the icons. However, if you like the icons, I've got a link there where you can go download them. In addition to the pictures of the icons, I've typed in the search term. Um, for what you would search for to find that particular emoji. And over here I have instructions for how you insert emoji. Next I have two different examples of the planning sheet. This one is one in case you want to print it out. These slides are set up as a sheet of paper size, so you could print this out on a piece of paper if you would like to do that. If you would like to do the planning digitally as well, there's this planning sheet. And instead of check boxes, I've got these highlight boxes that you can drag over to highlight anything that you might want to select or choose. And you can copy and paste these if you want more of these boxes. Then I have examples of four different types of frames. So what I've done here is the corresponding color of the border of the text box matches the color of the type. So that's how you can tell what statement would go where. So then, um, so then students would see, oh, okay, when I see this blue box question, I type where the blue question is. When I see this red box question, I type where the red type is, where the red color of text is. In each of these four corners, I have a box, and the reason that I have that is because that's how you insert the emoji. You have to insert emoji where there is a way to put in text or an image. So you click Insert Special Characters, and then when you do that, um, if you don't see emoji listed, like it doesn't have that here, then click on Categories, and you will have in this middle, if emoji doesn't show up, then you just can choose it from the drop down menu. But in this case, it was emoji. And then you can either search by keyword, which is why I put the names of them on that emoji one, or you can just choose, choose emoji. And then you don't have to click enter or anything. It just automatically puts it in there. And I sized this box to be um, the right font size because emoji is actually based on a font size. So I sized it to be the right font size to fit inside that box. So as you see, you have your task statements, you put in your emoji, you type it up. Here in the center, you can put instructions for what you want the students to put in the center, or you can paste in a graphic you want them to analyze. So every one of the frames is set up the same way. Here we have this version of a frame, and then there are three different versions of this style of frame, each with different size centers, depending on where you want the students to spend their time. I've also included an example of a completed frame that I would give my students, so completed in the sense of the teacher completing it. And so you can um, fill it in here. You can see exactly how I did it, and you can see that I use the emoji in the task statement as well. It's just one more clue for the students to know what goes with what. And so this one is on states of matter. This is a fourth grade example of working with states of matter in fourth grade science. And so you can see the emoji, the question, and then the students would type their responses. There's also a few other things, a couple of tips and hints, some information on the book, um, but mostly what we're about here are these digital editable frames, and I hope that you find them super useful.